Hi everyone, it's John here again. Going to do a quick video on TV um, theme tunes and stuff like that that made it onto the old 45. So, um, and me and 45 single vinyl. Right, um, I've done a video of this one before. Uh, you'll catch it on my uh, channel. And um, some of the uh, TV program Steptoe and Son, The Wages of Sin, and obviously there's Wilfred Bramble in there, and Harry H. Corbett as um, Harold, and then yeah, Wilfred was Albert, um, and this is on Pi, and uh, I forgot what year this comes out actually, let's just have a look. Yeah, there's there it is and it says came out or first recorded or recording of this was published in 63 so there's a uh, side one god it's not a good start is it side two the um next one one of my favorite um ever TV shows as a kid and uh, still watch it now big kid um, Wurzel Wurzel Gummidge and uh, yeah I used to watch this in the uh, late 70s early 80s and um, yeah, so there's the front Wurzel song there this is on Decca and uh, the catalogue number is F13 Double eight five, and uh, obviously John Pertwee, Pertwee was a uh, Wurzel. So um, <coughs> sorry if I can't pronounce things today, but my um, throat's quite sore today. Uh, so there's the A side, and uh, if you can see that, and that side. So the B side song was "Who'd Be a Scarecrow," and. Uh, Obviously, a side is where's all sung. Yeah, and that came out in 1980. That one. Uh, another one of my favourite TV shows, um, which a lot of um, men out there and young boys probably watched. Um, but it was the Dukes of Hazard, and this is the Waylon Jennings uh, theme from Dukes of Hazard. And side two is Storms Never Last. And uh, this also came out in 1980, and um, it was on RCA Records. And uh, let's have a look in here. Catalogue number PB9561. And that's the back. And uh, there's the uh, records, and you're going to need a clean. Um, so there's the A side, and there's the B side. The next one is something I never watched, but um, it was in in with some records, and I just pulled it out. Thought I'd put this in as well, and it was um, a TV show called Tis Was. Uh, so I was never really a a watcher of this. So the song was Bright Eyes, obviously Art Garfunkel song. Um, and then side B is We Are the Four the Buccaneers or Bucketeers. And yeah, the Four Bucketeers. That also came out in 1980. And um, There's the uh, presenters. Most of you probably recognise Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And uh, so there's side A. Should I say Art Garfunkel song or Mike Bat? Not Paul Simon, I don't know what I was thinking then. And then you've got, um, yeah, the other one there. Uh, 
Uh, another TV show which my um, father used to uh, make us watch, and but now I look back at it and I think what a cool show it was, and it was um, Minder, and it was uh, had Dennis Waterman in there, and George Cole, and uh, yeah, now I watch back at it, but it uh, back at the program and I think oh it's actually really cool, um, seeing back. Um, that's uh, 33 years ago this record came out, 1983, and um, so it's called, cool. I think that's what the name of the song is, yeah, what are we going to get uh, indoors, Woolworths 25p, and uh, on the other side is Quids and Quavers, this is on EMI, and uh, let's have a look inside. Oh, the catalogue number is MIN101. So there's uh, Quids and Quavers that side. And um, what are we going to do? Uh, get her indoors. Just there. And then, actually, I'm going to. Oh God! This is something I watched. Obviously, I was a kid when this came out. Um, just trying to think. One of them came out in 1984, and these two came out in 1983. They are related. Um, so, what was I? 83. I was six. No, sorry, seven years old. Yeah, I was seven and eight when this one came out. Right, so the first one, I've got two of, and people are just going to laugh when they see this, but I've got to show it, and it is Roland Rat, Superstar. Um, I wasn't old enough to go out and buy this record. I've picked this up along the way with loads of other records. Um, just had to keep it to show my kids. Um, yeah, I was a big fan of Roland Rat when I was a kid. Um, he was on TV AM, which is got down there, TV, the morning program. And uh, so this one was 1983. It's got the song on side one, Rat Rapping. And it's the brilliant Isn't It mix or whatever. And then Rat Rapping Instrumental. And in brackets, it's got the Can You Do It as well as Me side. And. Uh, yeah, and Kevin the gerbil was just there. So yeah, let's have a look at that. This one, by the way, is just the same. I think that's the lyrics on the back. Just down there, I think the lyrics are there as well. So it's on. It was actually on um, Rodent Records. I hadn't noticed that before, but. Yeah, apparently there's a Rodent Records out there. And, uh, oh, it's a shame about this one. The record's a bit... Actually, I'm not going to show you that record. That's quite bad. So I'm going to get this one out and see if this is any better. This one's be a bit... Not brilliant, but it's okay. Right, so there is your um, rat wrapping. And there is your rat wrapping instrumental. Right, I'm going to get rid of them. <laughs> Right, the other one, the last one, and it is Kevin the Gerbil. And this is uh, Singing Summer Holiday. And uh, yeah, so Summer Holiday is on side one, and side two is Hawaiian Holiday. And uh, yeah, this came out in 1984. It's uh, on Rodent Records as well. Um, there's going to be a but yeah, a lot of you just sitting there laughing your head off and then on the back it's yeah the vocals were Kevin the gerbil and then uh, if you want to look at the back just pause the video hopefully you can see it Let's see if I can get any closer yeah and it says I love you lots rolling rat superstar down the bottom hmm keep dokey right this record is in a bit of a mess on magnet 
So you've got Hawaiian Holiday this side, and uh, yay side, Kevin the gerbil. Uh, and obviously it doesn't got, sorry, it didn't have a side A and B, so someone's written side A on it. God, crazy. So yeah, that looks like it's been uh, played too many times. It's quite worn out. So cheers for watching that. Um, that would be just a part one. I oh, will do it. Um, I'm sure I've got some more crazy, um, stupid, silly um, records um, around the time when I was a kid. Maybe stuff from the 70s and it as well. So yeah, cheers for watching and uh, keep on rocking to Roland. <laughs> See you later.